YouTube, what's up? It's your girl Makara here from Cougar's Closet. And you are officially in the Cougar's Den now. Y'all come on in and uh, wipe your feet at the door, baby. Come on in. Uh, uh, hang your coat up over there. Come on in. <laughs> Need a little food? That's an hors d'oeuvre dropped around uh, in the kitchen, y'all in the county. Y'all come on in. Drinks in the refrigerator. Uh, come on in, y'all. <laughs> Need to hang your hat? Come on in. Hang your hat over there on the rack, uh, bathroom down the hall. Y'all come on in. So, uh, today we're going to be talking about the side chick, the blueprint. Mm hmm Now, um, uh, before I get started here, y'all, um, let me say that this is, this is going to be a sensitive topic. Very, 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 very uh, sensitive. Um, it, it's going to be sensitive uh, for the wife, and uh, it, it's going to be sensitive uh, for the side chick. Um, however, these are things that's going on, and these are things that I'm addressing. Um, Y'all, we can't keep on walking around in a world uh, where things is going on and we want to act like they're not going on. So, so uh, forgive me, you know, if y'all see me with my paper. Um, this is the blueprint. And um, this will be stashed in my archives. This is the blueprint right here. And um, I had to work on this blueprint because I, I don't want to leave anything out, you know. So if y'all see me glance over, you know... Um, stuff like that, it, this is the blueprint, okay? So, uh, if, if you're sensitive, uh, click off. Um, if, if you think uh, something is going to hurt you, uh, click off. You know, some, some, some women can't take that antidote straight up. Some women just can't, you know. Uh, I, I've lived in the world as a kid. I've seen this stuff going on all my life, so I, I've been around it. I've, I've been exposed to it. Um, people have exposed me to it. So-called men I've been dating have, have exposed me to it. But, 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 but see, don't nothing set you free but the truth, though. So uh, if this ain't for you, click off. Because it, it's, it's going to be um, some things that's going to get said that, that might crush, you know. So I, I've been getting crushed all my life, y'all. That's why I'm here today. So let's talk about these things. Let's dive in. So, this is the blueprint to the side chick. And so, what made me decide uh, to do this video, y'all, is because um, side chicks are starting to become so trendy now. Um, they don't hide anything. They want to be noticed. They want to be uh, acknowledged um, as being a side chick, you know. So, uh, since they stepping up to the mic, uh, we will not be ignored. How about we just go in there and bust it wide open, y'all? Because they're they making their presence uh, known that they're not going to be ignored. So let's acknowledge them tonight. So, um, there are multiple side chicks. Multiples. Like, there, there's a big umbrella. You know, everything, uh, every object that you see, every person that you see is, is kin to somebody. Uh, whether they be first cousins or... Uh, whether they be um, second cousins, mother, daughter, you know, everything is kin to something. Even the object, you know, Toyota is kin to Lexus. You know, even in the terrier business, you know, the, uh, the, 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 the pit bull is kin to the Boston terrier. He's kin to the Yorkshire terrier, you know. We can go on about this. The, the pig is kin to the war hog, you know. We can keep rolling, y'all. Y'all know what I mean here. So, uh... There, there's multiple side chicks. Y'all, my paperwork that got all... Okay, I got it back. Okay, so... Um, depending on what umbrella of a side chick you are, uh, you, you can fall under a lot of different brackets of a side chick, but I have picked, I think, about four uh, side chicks. But y'all, it's a family that don't stop this stuff. They keep running. So... Um, I, I, I made, I think, if I'm not mistaken, four families of the side chick. And the first uh, side chick is the headed 
for your number one spot, side chick. Um, with, with that side chick, okay, so let me bust it wide open. With that side chick, uh, this is a woman that uh, has the concept and she knows what she's doing. She agrees uh, to take the, the, the uh, condition of being the side chick, but she has a motive. And her motive is to come in and boot the main wife out. You see what I'm saying? Um, she wants to be the wife. So she has a motive. So she slides in. Um, she goes with what the wife and the husband is talking about. But she got a motive to get in here and um, basically get rid of the wife and become the main, the, the woman, the wife. You know. That's the first side chick. Um, the second side chick is the give me what I need. And get back on your side of town, side chick. And with that side chick, um, this is a side chick that's probably already been married a couple of times and it didn't work out for her. Or um, she's on a hunt, you know, for establishment or whatever, so she doesn't care about your family. Um, she wants to make sure she has what she needs and then um, she doesn't want you bothering her after you've given her her money. After uh, you've given her the D. You know what I mean? Uh, after you've making sure the food is is in the refrigerator. Uh, after you made sure the, the, the cell phone is paid. Uh, get out of here. Uh, I'll talk to you later. I, I'm fulfilled. I got what I need. That's that side chick. Um... The third side chick is, uh, can you front my whole lifestyle? And this side chick is a side chick that wants the condo in Manhattan. She wants the trips. Uh, she wants you to pay for her and her girls to go out to dinner and for ladies night. And it looks like she's not um, with anybody. You know, that's that side chick. Can you pay for my lifestyle? I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't put my back so I'm kind of telling free so I didn't put my back so so this wasn't giving me a problem right here but um you know can you pay for can you pay for can you front you know uh my lifestyle my my condo uh, off the coastline uh, can you keep my bank account loaded you know that chick and the fourth chick that I picked to fall up under my umbrella even though there's multitudes of side chicks is the, the side chick that doesn't even know she's the side chick the side chick that thinks she's the main woman. I have fell under that category a lot. And some of these other ones I fell up under too. You know. So sometimes uh, a side chick doesn't even know she's a side chick. She thinks she's uh, the main woman. You know. So th those are the four side chicks that I picked for my topic that we're going to break down. And, 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 and I wanted to do this because I said, y'all, you know, now these side chicks are getting very, very uh, boisterous. They want to be seen. They want to be heard. You know, they want to be uh, in the spotlight. So I thought, well, 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 let's, since they speak it up, I'm not exposing nothing. Let's uh, give them a little spotlight. So um, with these situations here with all these different umbrellas of side chicks, I'd like to say um, this never ends well. Y'all, I know. I, I, I've been through uh, pretty much all of this phase. And, and there was a time that I can say I, I didn't know that I was a side chick when I knew anything. Somebody was in my face talking to me about what I thought was my man. And when I went to say something to him about it, he scurried off and that confirmed what she was saying. You know, sometimes people don't tell you what they have going on. If you are introvert and, and you don't be out here in the know like me and you stick off to the side to your business, you know, you're thinking you with your man. You're not knowing you with nobody else's man. But then when women come in your face, they think you took their man. I've been there. You got rumors floating all around town about you still in somebody's man. When in fact, you probably just didn't like nobody at all in the first place. And this just might have added a little insult to injury. But however. But back to what I was saying, a lot of times, you know, these situations uh, don't end well for, for people um, that fall under the, the um, umbrellas of side chicks. And, and uh, why you ask they don't fall well uh, under the umbrellas of side chicks? 
Well, uh, let's start here. For one, um, you helped him. You helped him uh, destroy what it took uh, for him so long to build. Uh, you know, you, you helped him. You know, and I know it feels good when y'all caressing and y'all in the moment and you're making love. But see, you a secret. You in the um, uh, unsubconscious mind. You're not in the forefront. So a secret is always fun. Your fantasy. A fantasy is always fun uh, until somebody gets figured out. And then so um, when it comes time where... Uh, Everything has been exposed, and the wife finds about it. Now, uh, the wife gone, uh, the kids gone, the dog gone, uh, everybody gone, the furniture gone. Uh, get ready, because after a while, he, he's going to get ready to turn on you. You helped him uh, tear this down. Y'all was having fun. Everything is fun while it's a secret, y'all. But when reality hits about uh, what was going to be lost, Ain't nobody finna run off into the sunset with you and make you their wife. They want to know how the hell, what type of woman was you to sit back and, and, and help him destroy this stuff. And furthermore, you should be looking at what type of man was he uh, to be doing this to his wife. Because if he do this to his wife, he'll do this to you. So get ready for him to turn on y'all because you helped him lose everything. That's, I, I don't know why. It was fun while it was going on. It was fun while it was a secret. It was fun why uh, nobody knew. I don't know why, but uh, he's getting ready to turn on you. So, uh, here at Cougar's Closet, I like to personally give a disclaimer and say that I don't condone this type of stuff. Um, Y'all, I've I, I walked, I, 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 I walked in all of these shoes. Some of these shoes I didn't know I was walking in. Some of these shoes I was so uh, vulnerable and sensible at the time. I, I didn't give a damn. I had a scratch that needed to be itched and needed to be caressed. So I just went ahead. I didn't, I didn't care back then. But I do now. So um, I don't condone any of this uh, behavior, you know. But however, you know... Uh, if I can help any of these side chicks that's confused about the role, let me help you here. You know, let me help you. Uh, what, 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 what you trying to do? Uh, where you trying to go? Uh, what you trying to get accomplished here? Uh, so I wrote my blueprint rules. So, so, so let's get into number one. Number one, uh, if you a side chick, you are what? Uh, it says you are the side chick. So number one rule is lay your ass on the floor. Don't move. <laughs> you know the terms and the conditions uh, when you signed up for this. You know what I'm saying? You're a side chick. You lean to the side. Everything is to the side. Uh, wife don't know nothing about you. Uh, Mama-in-law don't know nothing about you. Brother-in-law don't know nothing about you. Sister-in-law don't know nothing about you. Lay your ass down. Don't be calling his wife, uh, disturbing the home and the children and the grandbabies and uh, all of this, trying to uh, say who you are and, and trying to uh, get the light on you and saying um, what's been going on. You know the terms and conditions. Lay your ass down. Don't move. Sit down. Just don't move. Okay? The next one is, uh, you know, uh, he knows what he's doing here when he brings you in. And, and like I say, y'all, I, I know this is going to be sensitive for a lot of people, and I advise you to click off because it's, it's going to get rough here. Um, Man is very, very smart, y'all. Uh, he knows what he's doing when he brings you in. He knows when to bring you in. He knows when to light you up. He knows when to keep you in the background as a shadow. He knows. He knows when to keep you as a silhouette to the side. He knows what he's doing. 
you know, uh, unfortunately, you know, sometimes, you know, you could be the side chick uh, messing with this man and his wife uh, mysteriously dies from an illness or something. You know, then there might be room for advancement for you if you play your part. Um, maybe uh, there's a divorce uh, on the horizon that, that didn't even have, you know, anything to do with you, you know. And if, uh, uh, if you play your part, uh, there's room for advancement, you know. I'm just saying, y'all. Three, uh, keep your mouth shut. If you decide, chick, and you entered into this agreement and you know what's going on, uh, Keep your mouth shut. Keep getting the hush money. Why you gonna blow uh, your cover and blow your good thing? If you're getting uh, what you want and you're getting uh, what you need, why is there a reason to uh, bring on the lights, uh, the camera, the action, and take? I've never understood that. But you know, Different side chicks that fall under uh, different umbrellas uh, go, go after different things. They have a reason for uh, why they want this type of stuff. I, I know some side chicks that want to be known. I know some side chicks that want to lay all the way down to the floor. You know, I, I know some side chicks that's kind of mediocre about it. If, if she find out, she find out. And if she don't, she don't. You know? It's always uh, fun and games until somebody gets hurt. So my next uh, part of the blueprint is um, if you get discovered uh, as being a side chick and this man has a lot to lose, uh, walk into the game with knowing that uh, somebody might get hurt and it, it's going to be you. So get ready to say your goodbyes. Uh, you know it was fun uh, while it lasted. You know it was fun while it was going on. But see, uh, when you build uh, off a faulty uh, foundation, uh, you got to know at any given point, y'all, uh, the house going to cave in. So, so go in to get what you're getting and have fun. Get your ass back out of there. It, it, you know, it's hard. Uh, not to fall, you know, but but you still got to have your hat on, y'all. You can't be falling for nobody else's husband, because see, when, when it's all said and done, ain't nobody getting hurt but you. Ain't nobody getting left but you. Number five, uh, the most important um, thing is about being a side chick, y'all. Is to know what you're doing. Know what you're doing. You just can't come in uh, laying, uh, t taking stakes out the ground. You're going to find yourself in a whole bunch of uh, pain and misery and, and some unexpected twists and turns uh, that you didn't know what you was coming to, y'all. Uh, you know, I, I, I've heard of a lot of uh, women, side chicks, uh, that wanted this uh, woman's husband. And, you know, he lavishing her uh, he buying expensive gifts. He's he's buying Chanel perfume. He's paying for trips. Uh, he might even buy a little car on the side. He's, he's furnishing condos. Yeah. Uh, uh, he's sending roses. He's doing all these things. And, and now uh, you want him so bad because see, you want this lifestyle. And you figure she didn't got old and and, and gray and mosey and she ain't up kicking around. That's why he's coming to you because you young and you you vibrant and you providing all these things, right? You better know what you're doing. Because see, I, I've seen and I've heard and I've read a lot of incidents like this. Where uh, now you want these things so bad, uh, you put a time stamp on it. And you pressuring him to uh, get rid of her and divorce her. And he's over here. He's working on these things. Now he divorced her. And now you're finally happy. And one day you get a knock at your door. 
and you open up the door, and uh, it, it's your it's your fantasy, it's your man, it's your husband to be. Yeah, you know, my earring that fell off. We're gonna keep on kicking it. Earring said, "You getting too real? We got to get up out of here. Yeah, this is where we jump off. The, this is where we jump off the train at." And um, you smiling, you happy, you let him in. Your fantasy has finally arrived, y'all. And uh, you let him in. Everything is beautiful. You know, first month or two or three, you getting all these things right. But then after a while, you notice these things start slowing down. Uh, then hell, after a while, you notice these things then came to a halt. And so you uh, ask, baby, uh, what's going on? Uh, you ain't been doing all of this and doing all that like you normally do. Uh, where the bag at? And he replies, uh, baby, I left the bag with her. Uh, that was her money. She the one was making all the money. Mmm, shakalan, boom, ban, sun, clap, moon, yun, chum, 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 no, no, no. Yeah, I'm speaking in tongue now. Now, all of a sudden, see, because you didn't do your homework, uh, you didn't know where the stakes lie. You didn't even know that she was the go-getter. She was the she was the money bag, yo. You didn't know that. You didn't know that's why he was on the back of her. And now, all of a sudden, you got this broke-ass man sitting there with you that you don't want. You only wanted him if he came uh, equipped with these things. So now uh, you done snatched uh, a father out of the home, and, and, and you done snatched uh, 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 a husband away from his wife, and you done snatched uh, granddaddy pop staples away from the grandkids. See, you done went in and messed things up, only to find out uh, that you would have been better leaving him there because, see, his wife finances was financing what the things were you were getting. So I'm saying, y'all, now you stuck with this broke man on your couch. Y'all living from check to check. The wife got the bag going on. That's the wise one. That's the smart lady. It was her bag all along, mixed with some of his stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Now you sitting here with this man that you don't want. Now you trying to figure out uh, how to get rid of him. Uh, how to get him out your house. You see what I'm saying, y'all? And then, on, not on, on, on top of that, I know what you're doing. Uh, is he a sickly man? Uh, is he diabetic? Uh, did he tell you any of these things? Uh, do we have, have a heart failure? Is he going to pass out on you? See, the wife was taking care of that. See, she knew. See, you don't know these things. See, you're a young buck. You're kicking. He's trying to kick with you. That's why he's about to have a heart attack. But see, wife at home handling the business. You, you 20 and 30 years younger than him. Uh, is you ready to be a, a caretaker, y'all? Or is you ready to keep on swinging from the chandeliers? See, see, the wife, she got with him uh, when all the warnings was on the forehead. See, she know her place. You the one coming in don't know uh, what's over here and what's over there, what goes here and what goes there. Are you ready to be a caretaker at, at 23 and... Uh, 33 and 40? Or is you ready to keep on uh, doing backwards flips? What, what, what's going on here? Can't just come in, y'all, uh, taking stakes out the ground. You'll know which way nothing going. You know? So, this is my thing. You know, uh, if, if, if you keep your mouth closed, uh, teach you how to get some money, baby. I can teach you how to get some money, keep your mouth closed. Uh, I want to, I want to, I want to share with y'all uh, uh, my idea of a side chick. If you're gonna be a side chick, baby, uh, I'm fix your credit score, baby. Why are you living in this little bummy shack? This is. I can fix your credit score. So that way, when Mr. Wright do roll up and say, baby, uh, I, want a, I want a house. Uh, 
You're bringing more to the table other than a fork and a spoon. You can look at him and say, baby, we can do this. Go and fix your credit. Uh, uh, uh. If you want to be a real side chick, uh, I can purchase you a little CD in the bank, you know, so after he die, uh, you got something to crack open. That's a side chick. That's a side chick. It's my idea of a side chick. How about your little ring or something, you know, for the memories, you know. If you're going to do this, like I said, I, I don't condone it. Y'all, I've done all this. But I'm just saying, if we're going to be side chicks, we better be going for the good girl and shut the hell up. Instead of getting all on here, flying your stuff on to be seen. You're going about the wrong way, baby. Don't nobody need to know about you. I do a damn about who you is. Get what you need for you, your kids, your grandkids. Go to fuck on, go out the back door and shut up. Nobody saw you when you slid in, but nobody didn't see when you saw it out. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, my idea of a side chick is uh, have them line you up with a little small bank account over to the side. You know, uh, anything go on for repairs, uh, car break down on the side of the highway. You know, you can call because you got your little couple of mu a couple of hundred stashed away. You know, that's my uh. That's my idea uh, of a side chick. You know, uh, some of us claim uh, we side chicks and, and, and we don't know uh, what we're doing here. So, it, it, if you want to be a side chick and you just have to be seen. Yo, I'm gathering up my blueprint. There's some important stuff, y'all. If you want to be a side chick and, and you just have to be seen, by all means, you know, uh, follow my blueprint. I remember, uh, let these uh, words uh, stick with you in the back of your head. Uh, if you can keep your mouth shut, let me teach you how to get some money. Mwah, Cougar's Closet.